What's going on you guys? Defresh8383 here. We are doing a cooking video today, okay? We're gonna make a, my own recipe of southern fried chicken. And we're gonna have a side of rice and some steam vegetables, steamer boil, whatever. But first you wanna start off with onion powder, minced onions, garlic powder, basil leaves, salt, and pepper. Okay? You put one giant teaspoon of each of these, two giant teaspoons of minced onions, one giant teaspoon of the iodized salt, and that's pretty much it. It's usually, other than the minced onions, everything gets one giant tablespoon. Okay? Make sure you got your egg wash right here. I got eight eggs in there. And then, here, Michael, get these and put these up. And then we got your all-purpose flour right here. Okay? You got four to six cups, depending on how much chicken you're making, of all-purpose flour. And then I like to put in Argo cornstarch, about one cup worth. Now, I'm just guesstimating, but yeah, that'll do her right there. And you take your herbs and your spices and your cornstarch and your flour, and you just dump them on in there like so. You mix them up real nice. Get them all blended real good right in here. All right. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and then what, you do, what I did is I took my chicken from a straight frozen state and I thawed it in the oven, in the oven, for about four and a half hours until it was pretty well, you know, slow cooked and nice and juicy. And then we'll put it in the deep fryer for about four minutes. So... All right, here we go. We'll get ready. All right. The first thing you want to do is you want to take it, take your chicken, rub it in the flour. That way that egg's got something to catch on to. And you take it, you dip it in the egg wash. Like so, get it nice and coated. It's starting to get foamy because I, I blended that pretty good. But it'll, it'll, it'll stick real nice. Take it and you put it back in there and cover it real nice like this. Now while all this is going on, make sure you either got a pan full of grease on the stove going or you got your deep fryer on 350. Because that's what you want it on. That's the perfect temperature to deep fry chicken. It's on 350. So you go ahead and you take your, I'm doing legs today, just legs. You take that, that chicken right there and you just roll it in there and let it stick onto that flour and then roll it in the egg wash. Just like so. And then you rub it back right in that flour. Actually, I made a mistake. I didn't use all-purpose flour. I use self-rising flour, okay? Make sure you, you do that self-rising flour. And I'll make sure I put the recipe in the description of my video here. And while you're watching this, why don't you go ahead and give my video a like if you like this. And if you want more cooking videos. Yes, indeed. Got a lot of cooking experience, as you can see. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. That's at the end of the video, boy. My son's doing the camera work. He got it pointed at me, and he's sitting there pouting because I wouldn't let him get in the camera. <laughs> Give me the business. And make sure you subscribe to my video. And you like my videos. And then favorite my videos. Because that'll help me out a real bunch. Yes, indeed. It's like Paula Dean up in here. Huh. Yeah. We'll be right back here in a few minutes after we get this all battered up and we get ready to throw it in the fryer. All right, now what we're going to do is this thing is a set on preset for 350. We're just going to put that fried chicken right in there. 
six pieces at a time though. That way not to overdo it there. Yes, indeed. Four tablespoons of butter. And whatever kind of vegetables you got, pretty much, and I don't put nothing else in it, because the butter gives it the flavor. When we get this all situated, we'll be right back. Go. All right, DeFresh8383 here again. Now this is the finished result of my chicken, rice, and broccoli. Okay? This is jasmine rice. You can buy it at any store. We got butter, butter steamed broccoli. And we got legs, and they look delicious. So I'm going to put the, the recipe in the description. And don't forget... Always come back to my channel. Put a like, favorite, and subscribe to my channel. DFresh8383 here, signing out. Catch y'all later.